Jared, just want to talk about senior night. Obviously, you came with a lot of intensity there in the first half. I know it's tough not getting a win in your last game, but you can just talk about your play. No, I, I wanted to go out there and just give it my all on the court. It's my last game in the Sun Dome, so you know, I wanted to just put it all out there for the fans and everybody. And hopefully, you know, I wanted to go out there and get a win by giving my all, but we just came on up end of the stick tonight. What were they doing the start of the second half that let them pull away as, as quickly as they did? They came out a different team. They came out more aggressive and physical, and I think that bothered us because as we played the first half, we didn't come out and do the second half. So they came out a different team, and we should have came strong, but it happened like this at times. They had dominated on the glass in the first game you guys played. It Was that something you guys talked about, is, is having a, a better presence, rebounding, especially in this game? Yes, of course. Last game, I had one rebound, so my focus was to go out there and get on the board. And the coach told us, you know, they killed us, I think, 18. It was up 18 on us. So we wanted to go out there and just show that we could hang with them in the rebounding stats. Stay me just get a couple comments from you. It's kind of late on deadline. I just want to ask you about the game and what they did to kind of pull away there in the second half. Well, I like the way we came out in the first half and our energy, and I thought we came out fighting and, and battling. And, uh, you know, I wish we could have bottled that for 40 minutes. Uh, they cranked things up in the second half, and I think we did maybe match the same intensity level we had in the first half. And um, once they got the momentum going, we just, uh, we just didn't seem to be able to slow them down. Coach, they had told you at noon you'd only have eight turnovers and hold them to 66 points. Would you have felt pretty good about that? If I knew we could score a little bit more than them, I would. <laughs> um, I felt good about the turnovers. They're, they're not a team that really gets out and um, you know maybe forces you into a lot of mistakes. Uh, but you know, three-point line and in, it's just hard to get a quality shot against them the way they guard you. Um, I, I, I think we had a good game plan. I thought we came out and did the things we wanted to do. Um, to give ourselves a chance for 20 minutes. We just didn't sustain it. Stan, can you talk a little about Jared, uh, the way he played tonight, particularly in the first half, though, you guys get off to the previous well, I'm, I'm really proud of this guy. I mean, he's, um, you know, he, he, he wanted to be an inspiration to us, and he was in the locker room um, throughout practice and before this game in terms of just encouraging his teammates to continue to battle, uh, to finish strong. Um, to try to do something special as we finish up down the stretch. And, you know, we all kind of rallied behind that. And that, that meant a lot. I mean, it's easier, you know, you're going into your last couple games to just, you know, kind of walk away. But that's not his mentality. He's a fighter. He's not a quitter. And, um, you know, he certainly, uh, you know, still has that same message to convey uh, as we go to St. John's and we go to New York. Uh, but I, I love the way he played today. He rebounded. He responded to challenge I gave our team to battle him. He set the tone with the rebounding. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, he gave us a legitimate chance in the first half to position ourselves for an upset. Coach, the zone seemed to give them trouble in the first half. Yeah. Second half, they come out, shoot 10 of 11. It becomes immaterial. They want to play it, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, the zone was effective when we played them the first time around. It was effective in the first half. And, and really, I think it would have been effective throughout the game we had some silly breakdowns. We just, for some reason, we knew who Ashton Gibb was in the first half. He was one for four. And we forgot who he was in the second half, and he lit us up. And you can't do that. I mean, they make you pay. And um, they did a great job of finding him, uh, especially when we made mistakes. Uh, why we left him, I have no idea. I, have, I wish I could figure that one out. But I thought he was the difference in the second half against his own. He, he made some plays. Once they got that lead up, to, to 12, 13 points, we really had no choice but to try to be a little bit more aggressive and play more man. Coach, would, would you mind maybe comparing this team to the O2 team you played back again with Brandon Knight, Julius Page, and, or maybe how this team is, you played them twice as your other tournament ready? Uh, they're very similar. I mean, their style hasn't changed, and it's almost like a mirror of, you know, they just, uh, it's, it's funny, you look out there and you, you almost see the same guys that played eight years ago in there. They don't change a whole lot, uh, but it certainly is a team that could go very far. Um, but it's 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 also a team that uh, um, uh, you know could stumble. I mean, it just it just depends on the matchups of who they go up against. Uh, but I, I think they their defense gives them a legitimate chance. Uh, having Ashton Gibbs healthy again gives them a legitimate chance because he shoots the ball so well. Um, uh, but uh, they definitely can go very far. They're the best, most consistent team in our league right now. 
Uh, I don't know what's going to happen in the Big East tournament because it's just it's going to be a wild and crazy up there. I can tell. You guys.